the subject that we will read in this class is digital system design. Today is the first class. So, first I want to give a introduction uh, of the course, mainly what do we mean by digital system, how we can design or what will be the efficient design of a digital system. So, what we have to learn uh, if we uh, want to design a digital system. So, first uh, we see um, what do we mean by a system? A system can be defined as a set of related components that work as a whole to achieve a goal. Means that what is a relative com components means say uh, some part that system has a different part, but when they actuate as a whole, then it will be actuate as a whole to achieve a goal. So, system contains uh, inputs, uh, behavior and outputs. Again, let us elaborate this thing. See, so, if we draw uh, a picture, we see that since uh, initially the system, we are as if thinking as a black box. Okay. Now, we are feeding some inputs, we are feeding some inputs and this is the behavior means how this black box works or what just now we have defined this related components or the part of the systems as a whole how they works to produce some output. So, these three together these inputs behavior and outputs we are defining as a system. So, what is this behavior? Behavior is a function that translates inputs to outputs. That means, we are giving these inputs and uh, then what will be the uh, uh, outputs? That means, given a problem, given a problem that if we give this in uh, uh, this as the inputs, then what will be the output or how the uh, how it solves the problem means what will be the output. So, this is in this way we are defining a system. Now, um, say these components or that related parts or related components of a system that can be digital, analog or mixed signal. Now, what do we mean by this digital, analog or mixed signal components? First, we see that the digital system is a system in which signals have a finite number of discrete values, whereas this analog system has values from a continuous set. So, first we elaborate these two things because digital system is the main concern of our class. So, we understand what do we mean by digital system. Say, now, if I draw this thing, that means, say so this is my some inputs because already we have defined that inputs behavior and outputs. So, these are the inputs and these are the outputs. Now, say so again inputs can take some discrete values, not all the values here. Okay. Say so these are the some values it can take. Now, for this input say the output can be say output can be this one. Say for this input the output it can take say this is output can be these values. Similarly, for this input the output can be this one. Again for this input say it is taking that same output. That means, see here, here only 1, 2, 3, these 3 finite values it can take. These we are calling the discrete values. So, this is my uh, digital, these we can take that these are my digital system. 
whereas that analog how we have defined that analog means we told that the signal can take this is a system or that signal can uh, take the continuous values that means a finite uh, infinite set here it is a finite set here it is a infinite set so just if we draw this can be a say continuous function see that first the input can take again the input can take any values any values here see for and for each value the output each value of input the output can also take any value so this is some infinite set okay so now uh, how we define the mix signal so mix signal actually this is a mixed of both digital and analog parts now one thing normally that um, see this uh, mix signal values though we are telling that it is that components can be digital and analog but normally the inputs and outputs that are uh, either inputs can be either in, uh, digital or analog output also can be digital or analog that means again if we draw some pictorially if if, if i can say say so again again these inputs can be say the inputs that can take some fixed fixed values say so for here some of the components it can take this type of digital values okay but for some of the components that output can be that continuous values that output can be that continuous continuous values okay so if a system consists of the both the digital as well as the analog signals or analog components that means uh, here that inputs can take finite or in infinite as well as output can be also uh, infinite or infinite then we are thinking that we are telling that these are the uh, mix signal system now why digital system are favorite why we will read the digital systems or the why will uh, we are um, eager to know that how we can design a digital system that um, uh, what is the advantages of a uh, digital system first thing is the digital representation is very well suited for both numerical and non numerical information processing say non numerical information processing means um, again if we tell say numerical means that 0 100 or say um, 120 again some big numbers if we take some 3 0 5 6 1 so what we will see in this class what we will read that all these numerical values whether it is a small number or whether it is a very big number large number then the, the very efficiently we can uh, represent that thing or the digital system concerns that it, the digital representation of these numerical numbers will be very simple that will be very simple representation now say non numerical non numerical means say our language say our english language i am telling that this is a class this is a class ok now see this english language all are these characters say here t is character h is character i is s and similarly so now this character can be easy easily digitized that means the digi even t characters first we can represent simple representation again simple representation of these characters are possible so that is why this is simple representation is possible ok 
so that we are telling that uh, this is one of the uh, biggest advantage. Now, another is easy to design, particularly the automated design and fabrication. So, uh, as a digital system already we have seen just now I, I mentioned that uh, it is uh, the representation of numerical as well as non-numerical non data uh, or the information that we can easily represent and only for that reason some simple circuits are available uh, for the uh, design. Say if for this information processing first how, how we input this thing or the behavior when we are actually actually that is the main system design part that how we can represent this behavior that means how we can process this numerical or non-numerical data to produce my output. And as it is a very easy to design and it is the to automate that thing that means automated design or that automation of the system that is uh, very advantageous for digital designs. And again fabrication um, part also because now it is all of we know that mainly the dig digital design means whether why it is so popular because for the digital chips it is within very small area that are small chips that we, we can uh, implement uh, a system. Now, it is very low cost because the representation is simple because the design is easy to implement and the automation is possible and that is why the it is very low cost. Now, easy to duplicate similar circuits normally these we call that uh, VLSI circuits because where that uh, it is it has a very regular type of structure these digital uh, systems. So, within a small area we can fit a number of actually this number varies from thousands to millions, millions of small circuits in a very small area. So, this is a easy to duplicate semiconductor circuits. Another is the high noise immunity. So, what do we mean by high noise immunity means that uh, that small variations of the um, components cannot change uh, the uh, in um, outputs uh, very fast or even in very large scale. So, actually th that means it is, it is a noise immune. So, what we are telling that variations. So, that variations can be um, done by using uh, or, or by applying some noise or uh, by introducing some noise. So, even if it is a small noise is incorporated or some somehow it is noise affected. So, then also our digital circuits performs correctly. So, this is a very big advantage that this is a high noise immunity power. Now, easily controllable by computer, this is the uh, main advantage of the digital systems. See the finite number of values in a digital system can be represented by a vector of signals with just two values, what we call the binary signals. Let us discuss this point because this is the main backbone of the digital systems. So, already we have defined that uh, uh, digital system that it is the system where uh, uh, it can take the only some finite values. Now, say these finite values I am taking only 2, the 2 values. Say these values I am telling 0 and 1, these 2 values that is why normally we call this is a binary values, binary values. Now, any number say I am taking one example, say some example if we take say some first uh, taking some numeric numbers, numerical numbers say 0 to 10. Now, if uh, we 
I want to represent because these are my decimal numbers. Normally 0 to 9 these 10 values are used to represent uh, the decimal uh, numbers. So, these 0 to 10 decimal numbers I want the representation of the binary. Now, say z if I want that um, I will use some 4 digits means that um, this z using only these 2 values are that 4 numbers say that means 0 means say I am telling all 0 4 these are the these I am telling that uh, digital bits. So, digits means that 4 digital bits I am using 1 means this is say 0, 0, 0, 1. Now, 2, 2 means say I am telling 0, 0, 1, 0. Actually, how, how uh, we are getting these numbers we will read in the next class. Say 3 means 0, 0, 1, 1. This is very easy to in that similar way I can represent 4 which is nothing but 0, 1, 0, 0 and say my 10 is 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay. So, see that if by 4 bit I, I am representing see here all the values can be I only 0 or 1 4 digits I have taken, but every digit is either 0 or 1. So, very easily uh, I can represent that thing. So, the computer can uh, easily control because this is a machine, computer is a machine. So, it can recognize only 2 values say 0 or 1 that means, if you think that computer is nothing but a combination of um, uh, switches, a millions of switch then every switch can recognize that it has 2 steps either on switch on means it is a 1 if it is a switch off then it is a 0. So, that we can logically we can tell that switch off means this is a uh, this is our 0 and switch on means this is 1. So, only by uh, taking a thousands of uh, thousands of switches or millions of switches I can easily uh, define or I can easily construct or design a digital system. So, the device which process this signal is very simple say switch or open or closed. So, this is the biggest or the main advantage of the digital system. Another thing is the adjustable precision. See uh, I am giving um, one example again if I draw say I am telling that um, I have some digital clock. See, my clock is giving some hour and minutes. Okay. Hour and minutes. Say so, now it is uh, 12, 12 o'clock. So, 12 hours and 0, 0 minutes. Okay. So, I can as it is a numerical numbers. So, 12 also I can um, uh, take some digital values. See, this is 1100. Zero, zero. Again, the previous example, if we take, it is represented by a 4 bit. And this 00, zero again, if we take that, this is 4, all 4 numbers are there. Now, say if one person wants the second also, then say then the, it is another second is also there. So, it is 12 hours and then 0 0 minutes and say 20 seconds. Then it is 20 seconds. Then again what I, I, I can do that see I can um, do that 12 is again 1 1 0 0 again this is 0 0 0 0. Now, uh, here I have to represent this thing by a 
So, 20 then I have to take another values that means by 4 bit numbers I cannot represent 20. So, then what just I am taking see as the 20 here tw for 20 I need 5 digits. So, this should be 1 0 So, 1 0 0 so I am taking 1 0 1 0 0. So, 16 and 4 20. So, how I can change? See easily I can change if I put another 0 here, if I put another 0 here, it remains same. That means, this means my 12, this is my minute representation 0 0 this is my second representation say 20 second. See that means that precision if, if I want to this is nothing but a precision that it was earlier hour and minute now I want to change that thing by a second. So, I am uh, introducing another field and again it is another field means this is earlier if it is uh, um, second means I, I want uh, 5 digits. So, only I um, uh, need another bit and that is left hand side that easily it can be included. So, that is why it is a uh, adjustas, adjustable precision. Now, complex digital ICs are manufactured with the advent of microelectronics technology. Already I mentioned this that uh, VLSI technology. This is the reason because now normally we call that this the world the current world is digital world. So, that means that wherever that all the um, systems that everywhere the digital uh, it is possible to design a digital design and the main advantage is that um, uh, I can the in a thousands of circuits or digit that thousands of even large systems that I can uh, put in a very small area and that we are called that integrated circuit or that uh, normally we call that IC chip or even you can tell that VLSI chips. So, uh, we know that uh, that our starting from our um, uh, digital uh, calculator, our digital watch, the digital computer or say if we see that number of uh, applications mainly that number of the all the personal digital assistance say your a mobile phone your um, pump top or any type of um, electronic goods that we are using nowadays that everywhere that mainly the why that it is a um, the size is very miniaturized and that is possible because it is implemented or it is designed by uh, or constructed by the digital design. So, that is the that complex any complex digital circuits that we can uh, um, implement or we can design by uh, uh, digital design. Now, uh, not all are the advantages, some of the disadvantages are there. One thing is that lower speed. So, uh, if we if we use that analog, though analog has um, uh, many uh, other disadvantages but we will not discuss that thing because our main concern is digital system. Then one advantage is that it is very um, fast whereas, the digital is that speed is lower. And another uh, we should tell this is not a um, disadvantage, but we have to uh, it is a uh, costly venture or, or um, uh, some complexities are involved. Uh, because that our physical world is analog means say this I am talking this is an analog signal. So, or someone is singing that is an analog thing mainly the uh, signal now we are producing that is the analog signal. So, if one system is analog then directly uh, it can that uh, it can catch our uh, analog um, signal and it can process whatever it wants. Say I am taking one uh, example again. 
say I am taking uh, one uh, uh, analog signal say uh, this is one source I am telling this is one analog source okay. this is one analog source means that it is generating some analog signal values that can be a song that can be a um, some words. Now, directly I want to amplify simple one simple system I am thinking that this is I want to amplify ok. This is my amplifier ok. So, these are the input I can directly feed these inputs I can directly uh, put that thing in my say my telephone line this is my say this is my telephone line this is my telephone line. So, it is going through the telephone lines and um, by a telephone again it is some uh, sender again some this is a this is a analog receiver this is an analog receiver say that it is going. Now, see here there is no conversion is needed the analog signal is uh, generating this is being processed say amplifier is one example then it is uh, by a telephone line it is communicated again if it is a telephone line that means it it, it uh, takes the analog signal it pass, uh, carries the analog signal and then some analog receiver is getting that thing ok. Now, say I want this um, if if this is digital I want to incorporate the digital that means uh, so far it is a digital design so needs to con digital design means say uh, our world is uh, analog means I am talking or someone is singing that is um, the analog signal. So, what do we want what we need I need to convert that analog uh, data to the digital one because my processing information processing should be um, uh, done in digital way because we are we are uh, discussing about the digital system design. So, now uh, ok first to complete this thing that to analog and vice versa that means uh, one analog to digital and digital to analog to communicate with real world. Now, this makes the digital system expensive and less precision. So, what we need again if we draw if we draw that thing say uh, um, again one analog analog sender or analog source what we call the analog source means some say some song is produced some music this is analog signal. Now, instead of this amplifier say I have some digital thing I have some digital systems I have some digital systems. Now, see I cannot feed this analog source directly what I want then I, 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 I can't because this is an analog signal and uh, this is a digital system means my input should be digital input output should be digital output this processing or this behavior implementation of this behavior that how it translates or how it converts the input to output that is also digitally processed. So, I have to I, I want one converter here ok. So, if I if I want to change this thing I want one say, say um, ok I delete that whole thing and I again I do that this is my that one 
analog one analog uh, source okay now i want one converter this is called analog to digital converter we normally call a to d converter converter and then so here it is a analog signal here output is digital so now i can easily attach one digital system okay say so some digital amplifier i am telling i earlier it was analog amplifier so some digital thing some digital processing i am telling some digital processing better i call some um, digital processing so this is some digital processing so again this output it is digital now think that see actually it was a song so when i again i want to listen this should be analog so say so now by i i i, I feed I, I fed it into a computer so digital processing then it is a digital computer okay now either within this computer or outside i need a digital to analog converter so far all these things are this is processed the digital so i need one one digital to analog converter so that i can the receiver can listen that receiver can hear the song so this is again a analog receiver so see i need this to this conversion and this is the conversion so this is somewhere that's why it is called that this is uh, expensive so to communicate with the real world the digital system uh, is expensive and this is and less precision now another thing is very important we are telling our world our physical world is analog that means what we are generating what we are listening what we are generating all are analog and then it is uh, processed or that normally it is called say some information processing or data processing that we are doing by digital because so far what we i mentioned that digital is very um, uh, that Im implementation very easy data representation whether it is numerical whether it is non numerical that is very simple so uh, actually some digital abstraction is there because the real world is analog so digital circuits actually deal with analog signals say so here signal means currents or voltages see i have one um voltage source that is generating say 10 volt this is a 10 volt supply so it it can generate 0 to 10 volts say if um, I, I can vary that thing so 0 0 0.5 1 1.2 1.3 so it can take any values actually it depends on that the accuracy of the supplier now how i can tell that it can it when it is attached because one power supply will be needed so when it is attached with a digital system how can we tell that either it it is a one or it is a zero so these we are calling the one abstraction so digital abstraction allows analog signals to be ignored and allow some discrete values to be used what does it means see uh, say I have some analog again if we take the same ex example of that uh, power supplier power supply that say one the analog values can be 
0 if it is a say 10 volt power supply this is 10 volt power supply ok 10 volt power supply. So, it can take 0, 0 0.5 volts then 1.2 volts it can be then it can be 1.8 volts 1 point um, uh, 9 volts 2.0 volts like that like it can be 5.5 say it can be 5.0 5.5 5.8 like 6.0 in that way in that way it will be say 9.8 then 10 volts see so many uh, values it can take see now you can tell this th again these are some finite values ok then I need some discrete values to represent if I want if I want to convert or to represent rather not convert if I want to represent this whole set of values uh, digitally then what I want say for 0 I want because these are all separate values. So, for 0 I want 1 um, discrete value say 0 say for 0 point say if the precision is 0 0.5 say I am taking 0 0.5 then I want say for this is 1 then say for 1.2 I want another value 2 1.8 I want another value 3, 1.9 I want another value 4. So, so many values will be there, but just now we, we mentioned that everything we can represent by binary by only taking two digital values 0 and 1, 0 and 1. So, we are what we are telling all these analog values that we are uh, actually we are ignoring what we are doing say actually some a range of values logically we, repre we represent that thing by a 0 and another range of values we are representing by 1. See this is 0 to 10 volt say I am thinking that if it is or, or just uh, we are maintaining this that if it is 0 to say 4.8 volt then we are telling this would be a 0 this will be treated as a 0. If it is greater than 4.8 volt it is greater than 4.8 volt that means 4.8 to 10 volts 10 volts then it will be 1. So, now see actually all this this is a range one range is replaced by one value another range is replaced by another value one. So, this is this we are calling that one uh, digital abstraction. So, example I have just now what I mentioned this is a binary system only two values are allowed one and 0 1 means high value say our high value means this high value is a range. So, if it is 5 volt to 10 volt I am telling this is a high value or logic true sometimes sometimes this is called a true means this is on or switch on 0 means low value that means if it is 0 to 4.8 volt if we take that same example and this is we call that logic false now another two terms are very important when we uh, read that uh, digital systems one is called synchronous another is called asynchronous so what do you mean by synchronous system a synchronous system uh, as is the elements if the elements change their values at certain specified times certain specified times means some specific times only they can change and it is normally we call that clocked we will discuss that thing later. Now, only we can think that the input 
we can apply the output that the um, system produce or even the processing or what we have represented by our behavior when it is processed that everything is being done at some specific time instant then we are calling that this is a synchronous uh, system and asynchronous means that outputs can change at any instant of time so there is no fixed or uh, instants that the inputs can change output uh, inputs can apply outputs can produce at any instant of time that can be done one simple example we can see that again we take the same example of digital clock it is set to alarm at every minutes so every minute it will uh, um, make a sound so synchronous means 10:30 it will make then it is 10:31 10:32 at every minute it will uh, give a it will make a sound asynchronous means no it is not in every minute say 10:30 then 10:42 say 12 difference is 12 now it is again 10:50 means 8 that means there is no fixed instant there the fixed instant was the period was at 1 minute when we consider the synchronous if it is asynchronous again that it, it can be 12, it can be then 8, again it can be 1. So, there is no fixed instant of time that it can change. The most uh, common example or actually if we uh, already have given I mentioned many uh, examples, digital system examples or digital calculator is one uh, example. So, if we uh, think that our examples are uh, digital uh, system examples, I can tell that our digital system it, um, our digital calculator. is one example, another is our um, digital watch, it is a very simple examples. Now, this class mainly will consider the our comp digital computer as the digital system. If we learn the all the parts, the way we have defined the digital system is a one system is a related components and if here the components are digital block then we are telling that this is a digital system. So, computer our um, digital computer is the, the example if we uh, see the design of a uh, computer then actually the, the all the concerns of the digital systems how we can design an efficient or easily understandable uh, uh, digital uh, systems, then that computer is the uh, ideal example. See in very abstract way, very simple model I can tell that computer has the very basic that it has memory and it has some central C processing unit the CP. See, as if memory from me memory that instructions and data are going, these are digital data. Again instructions that we can represent by digitally, because I, I, I gave that uh, example that if it is a English language or English type language mainly uh, consists of characters only or some um, other characters, always we can represent that thing by a uh, by uh, 0 1 bits. Then again these addresses these are nothing but digital addresses means these are 0 1 and this CPU again that inputs which are the nothing but the digital inputs means again that 0 1 that are fed to the central processing unit and the outputs are also 
digital. Now, here some arithmetic uh, logic unit means I, I want that um, the thing should be processed this is CPU say that input I um, um, fed to the CPU. Then I want that this thing two inputs should be multiplied or the three inputs should be added that means I, I need some arithmetic to be done. So, this arithmetic logic or again some tempora, uh, temp, um, temporary storage that also that can be the um, other parts. Actually, there can be many other uh, attachments. I have given only a simple example. Now, see again this CPU I can think that this is a digital subsystem. Again my memory system again this is a digital subsystem and the two things together and not only the two actually that ALU that other temporary storage, storage that was all the things together I can tell that this is a full digital system. So, in this class we will read that first how I want to how I can represent this uh, numerical data or non numerical uh, uh, data means instructions is how we can represent that thing digitally. Then how we can process this thing digitally that means my how my arithmetics my multiplication, addition, subtraction, division, exponentiation what I know that how we can digitally we can compute that thing, how digitally we can perform this all these arithmetics. Similarly, input uh, I can generate the digital outputs, how we can store that uh, memory in the memory or it is a permanent storage or whether it is a uh, temporary storage and all the things we are doing digitally means only two values we are using say 0 and 1. Another big thing is a clock because uh, already I mentioned the synchronous and asynchronous that means that at only some specific instant of time all these things can be done. So, this clock is also concerned that means our synchronous system or asynchronous system that also come into picture. So, we will mainly the this uh, course uh, um, concentrates on the design of a digital computer and if we learn the a digital computer then this is a digital system design the full course will be covered. So, mainly this we have to learn. Now, uh, okay. Uh, some more things are some related things are there when we uh, discuss about the uh, digital systems or digital system design. One is called the specification and implementation of digital designs. See uh, when a system I want to develop, I want to design uh, that what do we mean by specification of the system is the description that what I want by designing this um, system uh, what problem actually I want to solve, what will be the function of this system. So, what we can tell simply specification means the description of its function and other characteristics required for its use say speed, cost, power say what should be the speed of one system, say one system is so slow that the speed is very less, so actually uh, it is of no use. So, I have to tell that this should be the speed, so this is some specification of the system. Say cost, say it is very costly, so uh, people cannot afford, then even I can design a very good system but the cost is um, uh, huge cost it is very expensive then uh, it is of no use. Similarly, power. So, that is again main concern say in nowadays that one uh, um, uh, very good example is our mobile our cell phone all of we know that it is uh, um, nowadays everyone is using that cell phone 
But the main uh, drawback till uh, today, the drawback is the power because we have to charge the uh, every day we have to charge the our systems. So, this speed, cost and power these are the means uh, we can tell these are the specification. So, uh, this performance, cost, power and everyone is related to, uh, to all the uh, to others uh, characteristics. So, these three are the mainly the main three con concern main three characteristics that are concerned to digital systems. So, uh, design can be improved at the expenses of worsening on or both of the others. That means, say speed can be uh, I, I can make my system very fast, but the cost cost increases as well as that it takes uh, huge power. So, that is the worsening the here worsening the cost and power I can improve my speed or the vice versa I can do always. So, these trade offs exist at every level in the system design and every sub piece and component. So, this is one very important thing when we uh, design a digital systems that what is our specification that means what is our requirement that which characteristics uh, means that uh, power cost or speed which one I want to emphasize which what is user, user's choice based on that the system can the design can vary the design of the digital system can vary. So, a designer must make the trade offs necessary to achieve the function within the constraints that that everything should be that oh, the trade offs can be uh, there. S specification should have following properties. Now, specification means that is the function of the system how this system behaves. So, this should be simple, but complete that because uh, our main uh, aim is to uh, automate the design. So, if it is simple then the representation will also be simple and it should be complete the specification should be complete. So, that your system should be the complete one. The interpretation is unambiguous that means there must be when you are giving the specification this should be a unique specification because this is a machine that some circuit which are doing this thing. So, this interpretation uh, should be unambiguous it, it cannot have um, double meanings ok then it will be a problem. Okay. Uh, uh, we can uh, another very important thing is implementation. So, um, uh, in the next class we will uh, discuss that thing we, we end here. Thank you. last class uh, the digital system design uh, was introduced. Uh, we are discussing about the uh, specification and the implementation of digital systems. Today we will see that uh, what do we mean by implementation of digital system. Uh, implementation means how the system is constructed from smaller and simpler components called modules. The modules can vary from simple gates to complex processes. That means, that one system uh, has a related components, we have defined digital system like that. Now, these components again a set of components or more than one components that is clustered together and we are calling that is as a module. And this module can be a set of gates, a combination of simple gates or it can be a complex processor. 
Now, digital system follows some hierarchical implementation. So, today we will see that um, what do we mean by this hierarchy and how that one large digi digital CM um, digital system can be designed. First, we see that what do we mean by modular design? See, uh, if we see first, we take one page and see that the way we have discussed that as if this is some function or behavior, behavior of the system and some inputs are fed and outputs are taken. Now, if this will be a large uh, if this is a large system what we can do we can break this thing as a some smaller blocks say this behavior as if this is some some smaller blocks again it has its each of the blocks has its own function. So, this is f 1, f 2 function and behavior means that it is normally it is used the same um, definition. So, f 5, x 6 say these are the uh, uh, some blocks that means these as if this uh, large system is broken into some smaller block. There must be some interconnection between these blocks. Okay. So, this each smaller block we are calling this is a module. So, mainly this is divide and conquer means the large system uh, is divided and then the smaller module is designed first. Modules are designed and built separately and then assembled to form the subsystem. Modules are designed and built separately then assembled to form the subsystems. Uh, why we are doing this thing? Because it simplifies. <laughs>